Welcome back to a new Gala video update here on the channel. So I will discuss the imminent short term price action here for Gala. What is the next support to hold and the next resistance to break? I will also give you, of course, my longer term outlook. Before we dive any further into the video, I want to make you aware of my trade signal group. My signal group has helped me and others to make some serious profits over the last few months. The best part is you don't need to have any special skills or knowledge to start making money with it. When you join my signal group, you'll receive alerts on the most promising trades, including entry and exit points, stop loss levels and potential profit targets. This is perfect to make short term profits or to compound on, for example, your QNT tokens. Our signals have constantly outperformed the market with an average win rate of over 70%. So if you're ready to take your crypto trading to the next level, join my signal group today. Follow the steps in the description below this video. So we're going to start off the video here with on the 15 minute time frame and i'm gonna first discuss the imminent short-term price action so yeah basically from off the 10th of march 2023 it looks like gala moved up here in a wave one to the upside we moved down in a wave two i think we already completed this wave three i can see five waves clearly in this third wave and it looks like right now we are correcting down in this fourth elliott wave here for gala when this is completed i do expect at least one more push up here in the fifth wave for gala in the imminent short term the ideal retracement area for such a wave 4 correction is located in between 3.6 cents and I would say um, as low as 3.4 cents but you preferably don't want to break below this level because then this is uh, getting a little bit less likely that this uh, yeah potential bullish wave structure is going to play out so i would say anywhere in this uh, in this zone here i do expect a trend reversal for gala so for <clears throat> sorry so for anyone who is waiting for yeah an entry price here to trade gala to the upside i would suggest you uh, well i'm i'm not suggesting anything i'm not a financial advisor but i am personally scaling in here around the uh, 3.54 cent region and if we drop lower i will even scale in more aggressively i do expect at least one more push to the upside shortly for gala when this wave 4 is completed in terms of my price target what we can do is we can measure the length here of this first impulse and we can place this trend based fib tool at the bottom of this wave 4 at the moment we have no bottom confirmed for this wave 4 yet so i cannot give you the exact price target this is just a rough estimation i think we are going to go at least towards 3.9 cents but perhaps maybe even towards 4.2 cents so anywhere in that region so let's say that you enter here at the 3 0.5 cent region and you set your stop loss let's say at 3.4 cents then your first take profit could be around the 3.9 cents which is um, almost a 12 percent move to the upside and uh, second take profit around 4.2 4.2 cents which is about an 18 percent gain uh, no guarantees that this setup will play out of course and keep in mind this is the binance chart so prices could be different on other exchanges keep that in mind as well when placing your stop losses let's now take a look at the indicators on the hourly time frame and let me actually make this a little bit bigger so this is the one hourly time frame for gala and at the moment we are, can see that the rsi is losing strength we are forming this lower high structure while the price is forming a higher high structure so uh, yeah this is a typical bearish rsi divergence well actually it's not confirmed yet because we didn't actually on this chart we didn't make a higher higher but if we go for example to this chart i think this is the qcoin chart yes here we made a higher high so Technically speaking, this bearish divergence is confirmed and this is typically what you tend to see at the top of the third wave. And this could definitely um, yeah, bring the price a little bit lower here in this fourth wave before we see that potential break to the upside. I have to say that the stochastic RSI is at the moment um, heading up here on the hourly time frame, which is interesting to see. Momentum indicator also and the MACD is also losing selling pressure. However, it's not confirmed yet that we are already in this fifth wave. So at the moment, I still think that we are in this fourth wave. Um, yeah, if we break above, let's say 3.85, then we have a confirmed potential breakout in this fifth wave to the upside for gala but at the moment i still do primarily expect one more low here that is very likely it doesn't need to happen but it is just a little bit more likely 
uh, for Gala in the short term. I'm trading most of my altcoins on BitGet. BitGet is a non-KYC exchange with some of the cheapest trading fees compared to other exchanges. If you sign up through my link in the description, you can claim up to 5,000 US dollars in bonus rewards and also 15% discount on all your trading fees and you support the channel as well. So make sure to check BitGet out. So let's now zoom out here to the daily time frame for Gala. Let me actually go to the daily. And this is the daily time frame for Gala. And um, is this the right chart? I think this is the wrong chart as well. I think I need another chart. Sorry, guys. Need to go to another one. I think it's this one. Yes. So this is the daily time frame for Gala and um, a brief recap for the new subscribers on the channel. So I think the bear market low for Gala has been made at the end of December 2022 at 1.5 cents. Since then, we moved up impulsively to the upside in five waves to complete a larger Elliott Wave 1. The top was reached at the end of January 2023 at 6.3 cents. Since then, we corrected down in this A wave came up in a B wave and moved down in a C wave in the so-called Elliott wave two correction. So this was a one, this was a two. And I think right now we are at the beginning stage of this larger wave three to the upside for Gala. The potential price target is anywhere. Let me actually give you the targets. Let me make this bigger. So let me give you the price targets. I'm gonna calculate the length of this first impulse. And then I'm going to place this tool at the bottom of this wave two. And then we are looking for at least the 1.618 Fibonacci extension level, which is located at, is this the correct chart? No, which is located at 10.6 cents. So this is my minimum target for this third wave, but it could even extend as high as 20 cents. That's all very likely. So yeah, very big gains to be made. And for anyone who wants to trade this big swing to the upside for the next few weeks, maybe even months, you could of course enter a position here. Make sure your stop loss is set around the 2.9 cent area. Not financial advice. This is just a trade that I took. So I placed my stop loss at 2.9 cents and I'm riding this towards the upside, potentially even towards 18 cents. So that is my longer term outlook and my shorter term view here for Gala. It's all looking promising. Lastly, I also want to show you Gala strength against Bitcoin because I'm seeing something very interesting here as well. So this is Gala against Bitcoin. And you can actually see that back in 2021, we outperformed Bitbo Bitcoin, not Bitboy, Bitcoin massively. We went to the upside against Bitcoin for approximately 31x. So we outperformed Bitcoin for a 31x since then, since the bear market started we corrected down we uh, underperformed bitcoin and just recently around here at the end of december we outperformed bitcoin again i think by 200 percent or something maybe even more yes about 200 percent 2x and um right now we corrected down all the way towards the golden fibonacci ratio so right here yeah, so you can actually see that Gala went down towards the golden Fibonacci ratio roughly. No, actually we did. We went even slightly below it here on the linear scale. And that is an ideal retracement area. And I do expect Gala to outperform Bitcoin again in the next few months, weeks ahead of us. Um, this structure right now reminds me of the structure here back in 2021. We outperformed Bitcoin massively, moved down towards the golden Fibonacci ratio. Let me show it to you. So you can actually see we went down exactly. I don't know if you can see it actually. Let me remove this one. Yes, so we went down to the golden Fibonacci ratio as you can clearly see here. So we went slightly below it back then. And then after that, we saw a significant rally against Bitcoin. As you can see, I cannot even see it on this chart, how big the rally was. That is how much we outperformed Bitcoin afterwards. And this structure currently reminds me of exactly the same. So we had a big run up. We corrected down towards the golden Fibonacci ratio, slightly below it even, I believe. Actually, this is, sorry guys, this is not the right one. Let me throw it out again. So, 
yeah, you can clearly see that we went down slightly below the golden Fibonacci ratio. So I do expect Gala to outperform Bitcoin massively in the next few weeks. Maybe something similar as we saw in 2021. Uh, we also have a bullish RSI divergence here against Bitcoin, higher lows on the RSI indicator. And if we go to the price, we can clearly see a lower low structure getting formed here. You can see it better on the line chart. So lower lows, higher lows on the RSI. And this is um, telling me that we could experience a significant run against Bitcoin again. And on the three daily time frame, we also have almost a confirmed buy signal. So I think uh, Gala right now is a very interesting buy to me, at least I'm buying. And uh, yeah, let's ride it all together to the upside. And that's my quick analysis for today. Please like the video, subscribe to my channel. I want to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next Gala update. Bye bye.